Good morning, and welcome to day 27 of our meditations together. I'm becoming clear that we're going to 30 days, so um, there's this excitement at reaching the end of this week and completing this process that has been so beautiful for me. And there's also this um, feeling of I've got to squish everything in. There's so much more that I want to share and show you and tell you, and how are we going to get it all in before Friday? So yeah, I'm just um, I'm just showing up, and we'll see what today brings, and we'll see what the next few day bring, days bring, and then we'll go into the weekend, and Soul Shine starts on Sunday. So yeah, lots of good, good juicy stuff happening here. All right, let's dive in. So go ahead, let yourself land wherever it is that you do your meditations. Yeah, feel yourself sitting on the chair, sitting on the floor, on your bed. If you're standing or walking or outside, just let yourself tune into the surroundings that you're choosing to be in for this time with your soul. And if it's felt busy on your way to the space, see if you can slow your breathing down. Yeah, and just let yourself come fully into this moment. As you do that, tune into your body. So see how your body feels today. Is it tired? Is it recharged after a night of sleep? Is it anxious from all that still needs to be done or hasn't been finished? Tune in and then see if you can be with whatever is showing up for you today. So if you feel good and relaxed, right? Exhale, let your body relax even a little bit more. Feel yourself landing more firmly on the chair or the floor. If you're arriving here with a whirlwind energy or a um, um, a feeling of overwhelm, perhaps, or heaviness. See if you can just sit with that for a moment. What's going on inside of you that's creating that pull, that um, tug to not be present, or that resistance to coming all the way into here and now? One of my favorite scenes in Inside Out is when sadness sits down next to Joy and Joy leans her head on sadness's shoulder and sadness is like, yes, sometimes it feels really good to have someone right next to us in that moment when we need a little bit of extra support. So what if you give that to yourself right now? Yeah, good. And then bring your attention down lower. So as you visualize yourself being here, leaning on the shoulder of yourself, <laughs> these visuals are always so interesting. See if you can bring your attention down into your body towards your bottom, towards your feet, whatever the lowest point is that's connecting to the earth. And just feel your attention sliding down. One of my favorite things to do <clears throat> when I meditate is to have my feet out in front of me and then to visualize that the power center of my body, which normally is my brain, right? Very busy brain. The power center starts to come down down, down, down. And so it passes the heart and then it's sliding down like an energy bubble or an energy center, sliding all the way down into my root. And then I just visualize it sliding down my legs all the way to my feet. And as it does that, all the other parts of me that haven't wanted to come into this moment that have been in resistance or afraid to look to see what's going on today, those parts can just slide right in and follow the pathway down and then fall into place. So 
So my power center, my energy center, perhaps is all the way down at my feet, resting against the earth. And then all these other parts of me have come and they're filling in my legs, my hips, my core of my body, my heart, all the way up to my brain. See if you can match the energy of that. So if you're feeling resistance, what you can say is to yourself, I match the vibration of being fully grounded, fully present, fully in my body for whatever it is that we're going to experience next. Why? Because it serves me to have all of my attention here to explore what's going on in my path, in my soul, in my journey. Yeah, and then just let everything relax. So we could force it and hold it and make it and, you know, convince it to do this. Or we could just relax and allow everything to feel easy and grounded and centered. Good. Connect back in with your breath. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so... What we were, what we're going to look at today, and I wasn't sure when I was doing my own meditation if this is the direction we're taking, but feels like it is, so we're going to go there. There's, um, there's often confusion that I hear and uh, see in articles, in um, sessions with my clients, conversations with friends and family. There's this confusion. Mm, Maybe that's the wrong word. There's a unique way that everybody has of connecting with God or source or uh, divinity, the universe, one. You know, there's so many names for that energy that creates life, that creates planets and galaxies and stars. And I think the confusion comes from not having one consistent answer. Yeah, that feels true. So everybody has their own experience with God or source. And if it doesn't match somebody else's experience, then we feel like someone must be right or wrong. You know, that one must be confused or out of alignment or that one over there sure is crazy. You know, because their experience of source or God or universe is so different than perhaps ours. And what I find... Um, in energy sessions is that there are consistent pieces always when people are exploring this concept of one creative energy and then there are unique interpretations that people have that are magical right like the way one person sees God or source is completely different than the way someone else does and they're both profound and beautiful and exactly what that individual needs for their guidance. And so I'd like us to be open today. You may have a way that you've seen or experienced or felt that energy, that all creative energy. And what if today you uncover a new little nugget or piece that you hadn't felt before? And what if you share that with someone else and that opens up something for them? And so this understanding of energy, of oneness, gets uh, more depth, more clarity, individual clarity, more love underneath and around it. And it just gets more expansive for everyone instead of boxing things in and having them be our own right interpretation that makes others wrong. Yeah, I actually said that really well. <laughs> so what I would like what I would like to do is is guide you through a process that I've done with many of my clients. So if you're listening and you've already done this, be open to the possibility that something new could come through for you. And the magic of it is in the sharing. So 
share it with those that you love. If you're feeling bold and crazy, share it on the Facebook page and offer what comes up for you because there's richness in all of these aspects of God being explored. And what you offer could guide somebody else in a direction that is profound for them. All right, so let's begin. Let's begin. So now that I have you in your body, there's a way that we're going to play with this that might make you feel like you're checking out of your body. But to me, it feels more like a stretching, like a gumby kind of feeling. If you weren't grounded, if you weren't in your body, you wouldn't be able to be present to look at this from a space of awareness. You have to be all here in order to stretch and experience this. So feel your feet connected to the floor or your bottom, whatever is the closest to the floor. And imagine you can drop roots. So you're going to go down first. So feel roots going from your feet or your bottom down into the earth underneath your building. And have them go down 50 feet and then sideways out in all directions. So the roots are going to multiply 100 feet out in all directions. And we'll do it one more time. So from there, another 50 feet down. You should feel a tug in your belly or a pulling down of your shoulders. And then go 500 feet out in all directions. So you've created like little steps of roots into the earth. Good, and then let those roots just anchor you in. Relax your body again. Okay, and now we're going to go up. So for many people, there's this vision or expectation that source is above us. God is up above in heaven. And this visual, I think, allows for more clarification than if we said, be right here sitting next to God. So we're going to play with it. But you can use your imagination in any direction. So don't be limited by what I'm showing you. So feeling your rooting underneath you. I want you to imagine that your attention, your awareness can start to go up. So you want to feel it coming from wherever it was in your body, down by your feet or in your womb, in your chest. Imagine um, like a little, you can give it a stick figure image if you want, or make it a little bubble with an eye in it, whatever visual serves you. Imagine that that part of you that is just curious about this whole thing, curious about life and God and universe, heaven, all of it, can start to make your way up energetically. So you can come all the way up into that busy mind. Visualize that little stick figure or eye or bubble of energy. Bump up against the top of your head. And feel yourself rooted in through the ground. So you're not disappearing. You're not flying out. You're just having an experience of energy where you're stretching. Right. So then just visualize that that energy can start to bump through the top of your physical body and just go straight up, up, just up, just up, keep floating. It's just an energy exercise here so that we can feel God or source in a different way. For some of you, up five feet might be as high as you want to go. Totally cool. If you want to go up out of the house or the building that you're in and then rapidly move through the air to go higher, you can do that. Yep. And then you can just hang at that height. If you want to go higher, you can do that too. All of these are right. Nothing here is wrong. So just visualize that awareness part of you, that consciousness, that eyeball <laughs> or stick figure. Wanting to go higher, if that's what you want to do, all the way up through the atmosphere of the earth to stand on the other side of the planet, perhaps. And you're rooted in, so you're not going to fly out or get lost. You're connected through your roots into this earth. No one's getting flying out. 
And then imagine from wherever you are in this line or energy um, vortex, is that the right word, energy vortex? Kind of an energy, sort of like a tube, an energetic light source. As wherever you are in that space, imagine there's a little platform that you can sit on or rest on. Yep, so let your energy just settle. Like, okay, we're not going to fly away. Nothing bad is happening. We're just playing with energy. So feel yourself on that platform. And then look down from wherever you are. See your physical body sitting on that chair. You're not, you're connected. You're not going in the wrong direction. And then bring your eyes up. For some of you, like for me, um, I'm not a big fan of heights, and so I feel like I need to put my hands on the platform, right, and let myself feel that it's solid, I'm good, it's just energy, there I am down there, rooted in, here I am in this space. When you feel safe, so you might need to just use your breath to slow down. You might need to just bring your awareness to your belly and just say, it's okay, we're just trying something new here. Yeah, and I want you to look around you now from wherever you are. Look around you. So depending on your height, it'll depend on your perspective. And you may come back and do this over and over and each time go a little higher Whatever works for you, right? But from wherever you are, look around and just notice what do you see? What do you see? The perspective is different from here, isn't it? When we're in our bodies, we're grounded and present in the moment, having our unique experience. When you come up like this and look around, what I always notice, and the higher I go depends on the scale of the perspective, there are so many other souls, so many other people, all having their unique experience, but all here on this planet, on earth, agreeing to do this, to be alive, to connect to people, to create, to bridge, to build. So if you are sitting here looking out and you see nothing, right, it's just black. What if you could imagine that there's a pair of glasses sitting next to you on this platform that give you perspective shifts or greater understanding. Perhaps they're um, glasses that God or Source has left for you. What if you could put them on and perhaps um, look over the edge, look out, look up? What do you notice from here with that perspective shift? And if you were to open your heart just a little bit more, does anything shift in what you can see or know or feel? For me, um, when I open my heart, there's this deeper feeling of connection. You know, it's not just me up here having my experience looking at all those other people who are having their experiences. There's a space of being able to feel compassion for them or love for them that perhaps I wasn't available to before that heart opening. And if that feels intense, you can just close your heart back up a little bit. Feel yourself sitting on the platform, just having an experience of energy in a different way. Yeah, so as you sit here, 
What if God or source or universal energy could take on form and just come and sit right next to you? So if it's a small platform, you can make the platform a little bigger. If it feels like God or source takes on a big physical energy and it makes things wobbly or uneven, you can say, hold on, hold on, let me stabilize myself a little bit here. If God or source or universe or one feels more mystical or um, intangible, right, like maybe wind or mist or light, is there anything you need to adjust on your platform so that you feel more comfortable sitting here with God or source? So do that thing that would make you feel more comfortable. Yeah, and then I'm going to stop talking for a couple of minutes and hold space for you to communicate in whatever way feels right to you with this energy that creates all. You can ask questions, you can just sit and be, you can allow that energy to open your heart a little bit more, heal a place that feels stuck. Yeah. If something comes up that you want to release, just send it all the way down into your physical body, through your feet, into the earth. And then come back to that space with your creator. present, stay here. For some of you, you may just want to curl up into the lap of that energy, that form. For others, you may be bouncing with excitement, right? Asking a million questions and receiving some answers that you haven't had before. Stay in the space and trust that whatever comes through, you will know, you will remember at the end of this meditation and you will be able to tap right back in. And maybe you ask, what else? What else is there for me to know or feel or heal right now? If you feel emotion, just let it wave through you. 
massage all the way down through your body. Down into your feet, into the earth. It's so beautiful what I see is like the earth holding us, grounding us into the space. And source just being present right by your side. Talking, whispering, yelling to you. <laughs> Whatever format to get your attention. To show you love, to show you support. This creator, this energy, God, source, wants the fullness of your adventure here on life to be amazing to be magnificent, to show you contrast so that you get to pick, you get to choose the experiences that matter most to you, that expand you, that enliven you. This God is not sitting next to you to punish you or tell you you did it wrong or throw you off of this platform because you made a wrong turn somewhere. No. This God pulls you closer and hugs you and loves you and says you are doing it perfectly so well. And perhaps here's a way to expand. Here's a way to feel more love, be more love. Use your breath. Stay in the process, in the presence of this moment. For those who want to be here a little longer, just go ahead and pause the recording. Stay. Do whatever feels right for you and then come back when you are completed. For those who feel like, whoa, that was a lot, that was enough, I know how to do this again. I can come back to the space if and when it feels right. Go ahead and offer whatever last words you would want to share with your creator. I love thank you. <laughs> That's usually how I end this work is thank you. Thank you for the gift. Thank you for the love, the attention. And then allow yourself to start to come back down from whatever height you were at. And go slowly. This isn't a, right, like a drop back in and uncomfortable landing. This is a, um, this woman I watch who does Pilates, she said, vertebrae by vertebrae, bring yourself back up or pull yourself back down. And it's that same feeling, vertebrae by vertebrae, just bring yourself slowly back into your own body. Feel that energy center pulling you all the way down so that the energy center is at your feet, connected to the earth, this moment, this body, this planet. And the rest of you is just sliding into space in your body behind that energy center. Actually, that doesn't sound right. Sliding back into form, <laughs> not sliding back into space. Sliding back into the form of your body. Feel yourself coming all the way down and in. Yeah, let your breath ground you again. So you might want to do a long, slow exhale out of your mouth. And as you do that, feel yourself aligning body, body, energy, energy back up. So go ahead and do that. Here you go. And then anything that's ready to be released, just send it all the way down your legs to your feet, out into the earth. And then imagine the earth can purify anything you've released, anything that feels heavy or toxic in your body. Purify that energy. And then I want you to pull energy up from your feet, all the way up your feet into your legs. And feel that be really good, uh, like juicy brown or gold or warm earth energy 
coming all the way up your legs into your knees, running up your thighs, and then filling up any space in the body that might not feel like it's, it's totally connected back in. So just feel earth energy coming in, connecting you back to this body, which might feel restrictive and tight and a little awkward and uncomfortable after that floaty feeling above. But feel yourself coming all the way here, right? Right here, this moment, this body. You are in your own space. There you go. Good, good work. Good work. So, yeah. Um, share, share your experiences and um, allow others to learn from what you uncovered because it is all one energy and what one saw, you or I or any other person, there's some connection to what others have seen and so let's start weaving that knowledge that fabric together and sharing these experiences ah oh, so good all right my loves <laughs> so much love from my heart to yours